Anyways, like, like that was the first thing I needed to do when I went when I got home, and I don't rush to the bathroom because I'm trying to like train it because there's no way after Botox like it didn't even help a little bit. And they're like, you need several for results. So I'm taking stuff in my own hands. I'm trying not to get a blood infection. But I used to have anxiety because, like, at one job, I held my bladder never again. And I got BB and a bladder infection. This is wretched. Okay, we're about to do this. <laughs> um, anyways, um, so I want to take back, a, back some of my life. Like, it was at the point where... Like I would immediately, when I immediately got to go to the bathroom, I immediately go. And like, it has calmed down a little bit with the Botox because before when I had to go, I had to go, you know, but now I can like just hold it for a little bit and it will get tight and stuff, my bladder. Like sometimes it get real tight where my leg hurt and I try not to like hold it that long where my legs start hurting. That started after the Botox because I had like, I had like, um, like my legs was like very sore and like feel like somebody beat me to death like my knees after surgery but anyways like I'm trying to take back my life like some somewhat until supposedly of several Botox who knows how many I'm asked the doctor specialist like how many total for results like I'm thinking the first one I would see a tiny bit nobody never said no full results and then, like I said, after a few Botox um, treatments, if that don't work, then a bladder pacemaker. Like, I can't make it to the bathroom every 15 minutes. I go every 10, 12, 11, 13 minutes. And before bladder pills, I took four to five, okay? And it made me go less than 25, 30, 35 minutes. So, I don't recommend, I don't recommend bladder pills. Anyways, I still, I just don't care. <laughs> like I lost so much weight, like I'm literally like 90 pounds. Like I always took this in, so like my <laughs> underwear is in shot, like at jobs and stuff. I had an interview today, interview yesterday. And like I'm about to take this off and take a shower, so like it don't even matter, but like, I don't even eat much. Like, I care less about eating. I want to leave this earth. <laughs> like, I'm waiting for the rapture. Like, I could care less about food. I'm a big snacker still. But anyways, I'm about to stop talking. I'm procrastinating. Like, see, I gotta go to the bathroom right now. Like, it just hit me. And like, it's really powerful. Sometimes it's more powerful than other times. Where it's like, oh, and this, this funny thing. So I was at an interview, went across the street, to subway it was like not even across the street however it was close by across the street whatever it wasn't even the street but anyways it was next to it but across from it and so i went into subway and they had one bathroom somebody was in there and then they had another one that said stay out so i looked in there it looked it fine i went to the front and asked the cashier i was like anything wrong with that bathroom she was like no it's just for employees only i get it because they be known like I've been in I've been in the bathroom ninety percent of the time, whether I'm at work, home, wherever. Since third since twenty nine years old, I'm thirty years old, so I've been dealing with this for a year now. I make sure I sanitize my, my shoes when I come in, you know, leave them on a the rug and like I don't touch nothing. I like I don't touch stuff. I use my shirt to like open stuff and like my knees and <laughs> my elbows. Like my hands is where I eat. And people be so disgusting. And I stoop over there like the bathroom like that. I do not sit on that toilet. I be seeing people and people are so disgusting. They can't even flush a toilet, especially after taking a dump. I've seen it all. It makes me even more germaphobic than the bus for nine years. And I've seen everything on the bus everything in in the bathroom just disgusting but anyway so she was like that's only for employees so i could have been ignorant and walked in there and was like i, I got a disability i'm going in this bathroom or i didn't have to say nothing at all i could have been like okay and went in that bathroom like i got disability i don't care i'm going up in here but i'm trying to train my bladder so i just went to mcdonald's it was close by now if there was not no bathroom no other bathrooms and i could have been went back to where i went um had an interview at and used their bathroom i just didn't want to go back in there but if that was the case i would have just went back there and used it but i was like okay i'm halfway here 
McDonald's is right there. I'll just go there. And like I said, I'm trying to train my bladder because it's not about to it's not about to control me entirely. It controls me, but you're not getting the whole thing no more. Like I refuse. I refuse. Um so anyways, I'm about to I got another interview today, um, tomorrow. It would have been today, but I was like, maybe they'll call me and let me know by tomorrow. I already got one job, but it is chump change. But if I didn't get either one of these jobs, I would take the $9. But I mean, for the store, I know what store it is. It's not in the mall. The mall is worse. It's like $7.25. But anyways, because I used to work at the mall um, after high school a few times. But anyways, um... But for this store, I figured it was, I'm surprised it wasn't $7. But it probably is. It's probably because I have experience. I have 10 plus years in ex experience in retail. And then almost five years to well, four and a half years as a teacher assistant, which I'm trying to get into come August, back into. But it's going to be very complicated and hard to do so. So I'll just be praying over my bladder, especially in the bathrooms. And just, of course, at night... And I would have to rush to go to bed because the sooner the better. I don't have to deal with my bladder no more. And I gotta go to the bathroom. See, I don't hold it for too long. I hold it for a little bit. Like, you're going to wait. You're, like a child, you're going to have to hold on for.